Okay. This is a part where uh, Janine Turner and Glenn Beck talk about Sarah Palin. Now, for those who probably saw my other video, which I haven't put up yet, but I'm probably going to entitle Glenn Beck may be a Nazi, you know, but that's what the newspapers do anyway. So, anyhow, Sarah Palin's our governor. Janine Turner, what was I liked about her, I've always liked about her, is she played, really portrayed Maggie as a, an Alaskan. And we just don't blindly follow laws up here, you know. It's not that we go to court, we do whatever we have to, we say, hey, you got to do what you got to do because you, there's natural law that is higher than just the government law. And if the government law does not fall into the category of being um, within the natural law, that's where you got a problem. So, and I think that's what's going on with the whole world. We have governments that have. That the Constitution even, I believe, I'm going to read it again, talks about natural law. And natural law, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are part of natural law. So, you got to think, go to the next step. You just can't say follow the laws because if the party in power is, um, is not going to write good laws. I mean, you just saw it with Bush and, and you're all complaining about torture. Etc. To me, that's part of natural law. Now, you need to limit some things, then say, hey, this is not within. I mean, we don't have to do this. And that's fine, as long as you recognize that is the law, the natural law. But anyhow, I've talked enough. I'm going to show you Janine Turner talking with Glenn Beck about Sarah Palin, and I really think she's still, they're both cute little young ladies out there. Here we go. All right. Still with us, is, uh, Ted Nugent. We've got diehard Texan Janine Turner with us. She's an actress and author of Holding Her Head. I... And I have somebody else that I want to introduce you to here in a second. First, I want to turn to Janine. You're in Hollywood. When I read today in the Los Angeles Times how these people were idiots, uh, and the stuff that was said in the Los Angeles Times about people that just disagree. Um, you're in Hollywood. They have been saying for years that, oh, we're getting slammed, we're getting slammed. What is it like to be a conservative in Hollywood? Are they open-minded? Well, no. No, yeah. no, 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 not really. I mean, there are a few of us, but I went out and supported Sarah Palin and McCain during the election. I was doing all this press. And at the time. And, you know, everybody was cordial, but everyone, there, there were a few Republicans there, but they had to feel like, they felt like they had to come tell it to me in secret. Right. Like they take me out of the makeup trailer and go, uh, actually, I'm with you, but don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> what, is the, what is the deal with, what is the deal with Sarah Palin that they don't understand? I, I just think she's too cute. Too cute? Yeah, they I can't see that. beyond this facade that she really is a deep person, a very uh, intelligent person, and a great leader. And, you know, she's just you a know, I, I, was, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier today, and we were talking about Sarah Palin, and the, the vitriol that is coming out against the tea parties and everything else, and it's the same, they're doing the same thing. Um, to the Tea Parties, they're doing it to me, they're doing it to Sarah Palin, and that is, they're destroying, but I think it's because they don't believe that anyone could actually be sincere. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't actually believe, I, I mean, I, I've talked to Sarah Palin, I talked to Sarah Palin uh, on, on television before anybody else did, before she was picked, and I said, why haven't we found you, why haven't you run for president? Yeah. Because she seems sincere. Yes. And I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I would rather have somebody that is, and I'm not putting Sarah Palin in this, but I'd rather have somebody who's not so accomplished, very, very smart, able to do things, but is sincere and will tell you the truth. <laughs> America, I want to introduce you. I want to introduce you to a man that, uh, quite frankly, um, Joe. I don't know if, I, if you ever got my message, but I saw the way they treated you on ABC television, and I was really upset. And I was working. For Anyhow, I don't know who Joe is, but uh, I thought I'd just share that with you. I thought it was cute, 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 cute old Janine Turner.
to talk about, Sarah. And, Janine, you're an honorary Alaskan. <laughs>